Hey there, I'm Dave Stiles from 104.3 MyFM Los Angeles. I've been driving around a whole bunch of different cars from Longo Lexus. This is the ES, the ES Hybrid. I'm gonna tell you about this and all the other vehicles that I've had experience with. Uh, Lexus really fits into my lifestyle as a brand because they've got, first of all, they got so many different vehicles. Uh, for me, I'm a single guy. I don't have kids, so like the ES is perfect for me because I'm also driving in comfort. And you know in LA, we're on the freeway for half the day, so it's important to be in comfort. But if you're, like, if you have a family, if you have kids, they have all these different size SUVs like the RXL, the uh, the NX, the UX, which isn't out yet, so never mind. Cut. <laughs> but I am looking forward to get the UX when it does come out. Y you know, Lexus, it's kind of a lifestyle brand. It doesn't matter where you are in life, whether you are single, if you want a sporty car, or if you are a little bit more, you know, I'm a little bit more conservative, or if you have the family, or if you want something big, they've got something for everybody. And really, as you move on to those different stages in your life, you can always stick with the Lexus as well. So. So the, the reason why Lexus is perfect for me, first of all, it's a luxury car, so you're comfortable. And listen, I don't know details about cars. You can talk dynamics and under the hood. I have no idea what any of that stuff means. What I do know is that I'm on the freeway for 30 or 45 minutes or driving through the streets of LA to get home and work. And I wanna do it in comfort. comforts. Uh, I wanna do it, you know, I wanna feel a little, a little fancy. And that's what this is about too. Everything is like top of the line. Everything just feels nice. Again, I don't know the technical terms or the materials. I just know it feels good, it's comfortable, it sounds awesome, and it's it's kind of your second home. You spend a lot of time in your car. This gives me a pretty nice second home. So this is the, uh, the ES hybrid. I didn't really know what hybrid meant, and I'm still kind of learning, but w one feature of it I did learn is that it's basically silent. I sat in this car for about 10 minutes, eight, 10 minutes, pressing the on button, and it's like, it's not on. What's wrong with the car? I'm calling Longo Lexus going, my car won't start. And then it finally realized, oh, it's hybrid. It's pretty much silent. And then I just went, oh, it is on. Stupid. Uh, last week I was driving the regular ES. This week is the, uh, this is the, the ES hybrid. So the difference obviously is like when you come to a stop, I mean, I don't know all the technical way to say it, but you, you kind of pull from the battery, if I'm not mistaken, so you're using less gas. But also, like, the brakes, you have to push a little harder. And then listen, listen to this noise. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm pretty sure that's, like, the Millennium Falcon. So I feel a little bit like Han Solo driving. So I feel pretty cool. And I know this, like, the ES, you might think it's kind of a, because the way it feels, like, right now, it feels like a conservative car. But there's sport mode, and this thing is no joke. So, I mean, it's just a quick pop into sport, and you do that every time it starts. I think it starts automatically in normal eco mode, which is great for the freeway, but you pop it in sport, and that's it. It's a whole other story, and you're taking turns, but you're still comfortable. Like, you can have the kids in the back, and you're, you're still driving safe and comfortable and stuff, and they're like, no, are we there yet? Blah, blah, blah. You're like, I could care less, because I am so comfortable driving in my ES, relaxed.